Let's just have a quick look at the iron carbon equilibrium diagram. This chart, that's 723 degrees, that's 1150, that's 2%, down here that's 0.8% carbon, 0.4% is halfway, 0.2% is there, 0.1% is there. The most carbons in solution is 0.025%. Up there and down here it's 0.008% at room temperature. So I don't think we can actually see that line against here. It does exist. There you go. I've just drawn it in in green. But you cannot see it when it's physically for, um, when it's drawn to scale. It's just hard up against the axis. Let's now just concentrate on this triangle. That's 912 degrees C, that's 723, I've already gotten drawn there. That's 0.8%, that's more or less a straight line. Let's have a look at how that relates to microstructure. So, as we know, at 0.8% carbon, the microstructure here is fully pearlitic. Like so. So the microstructure of a eutectoid steel is 100% pearlite. Microstructure of a 0% carbon steel is 100% ferrite. Like so. That's all ferrite. So if that's 100% ferrite and that's 100% austenite, then halfway between the two, it's 50% ferrite, 50% austenite. What actually happens as it's cooling down up here? We've just got, we're in the austenite phase range. Here we've got austenite plus ferrite. So what happens as it's cooling down? The ferrite forms on the grain boundaries of the austenite as it's cooling. Because as you, we've just spoken about, phases nucleate on the high energy areas. So that ferrite nucleates and grows on the high energy areas, which are the grain boundaries, the austenite grain boundaries. So here we've got the ferrite. Ferrite, and that's about half. So if 0% carbon, all ferrite. 0.8% carbon, all perlite. Halfway between, half ferrite, half perlite. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? What about if we go, I'll just push this over here. Ferrite plus austenite, ferrite plus austenite. If I'm a quarter of the way, 0.2%, which is a mild steel, let's put this one over here, 0.2%, that pen's running a bit low, I'll draw in blue just to make it a bit clearer. 0.2%, 0% carbon, fully ferritic, 0.8%, fully perlitic, if I'm down here at 0.2%, I'm about a quarter of the way down. So I've got here three quarters of ferrite. Where it's grown on the previous grain boundaries. Like so. So I've got three quarters of ferrite. And about one quarter perlite. Let's make that one perlite as well. There you go. So that's probably around about a low carbon steel. That's all ferrite. And obviously here, continuing on on the same vein, I'll draw this one over here, 8.6% carbon steel, that was 0.2%, that's a 0%, 0.4%, 0.5%, 0.6%. Eight point six percent carbon steel, 
So just looking at the microstructure of a 0.6% carbon steel, you think about a 0.8% carbon as fully perlitic, 0% carbon, fully ferritic, this is three quarters perlite. So we just have a small amount of ferrite drawn more or less as like a necklace type structure where everything's all connected just like a um, necklace or a chain sort of structure where this ferrite has formed on the grain boundaries just a little bit like that. There's not a lot of um, or there's lots of extra carbon so you don't form much ferrite. Then when it gets to 723 the rest of it is perlite and lots of it. I think I've drawn too much ferrite there. This should be three quarters. So three quarters perlite, one quarter ferrite. That is how you draw on how you draw an accurate microstructure of a hypo steel.